far too short, but we've had long enough to make so many beautiful memories to share. From barbecues and scouting to dodgeball games and PE, we've had a great time together. Let's swear to always remember the fun we had at Spirit Week, the roses we got for Christmas, and the dances in the picture days, and most importantly, the friends we made along the way. We've also been taught quite a few things in these last few years. Miss Christine Yin guided us through Blanco and antiderivatives. One Miss Lynn taught us biology, while another Miss Lynn helped us through the bell jar. And Mr. Roberts and Mr. Day showed us just how successful Coca-Cola's marketing has been. But I believe that what IBSH taught us best was how to navigate independence, responsibility, and taking initiative for ourselves. We, the class of 2019, soon to be the class of 2023, have accomplished so much in our years here at this school. We've started so many unique clubs, like the Recycling House Association, and have become leaders and older ones, like Interact and BDSE. For many years now, our reliable Lu Peng has helped us organize food orders and fund student activities. And Teresa, Dana, and Vincent are some of the main reasons we're having a successful graduation ceremony today. Those of us in the National Honor Society really stepped up to guide visiting and new students. And I'm sure most of us have not only bought food at the Middle Staircase fundraisers, but have also hosted more than a few ourselves. What I want to say is that beyond academics, beyond the classroom, we've really created something meaningful here. We've all made significant achievements with our time and have all developed into leaders in our own ways. We've left behind a legacy for the younger grades, and we are moving on to make a name for ourselves in college and beyond. You should all be proud of yourselves and how far you've come. And now, I'd like to spend a little time to thank some people who really helped me along the way. Pamela, Gloria, Jolene, and Sophie, you guys were great fellow club officers and friends. Alice Tsai gets a special mention for all her homework posts, which were a nice help to all of us. Mrs. Roberts, thank you for your patience and advice during the college application process. Mr. Leaker, thanks for being a wonderful homeroom teacher, and thank you 12A and 12B for that lovely card. It made me feel almost happy to have had my lung collapse twice this semester. Those here not mentioned just know that I appreciate you just as much as those I've named here today. Earlier, I said that what we learned best was to embrace our growing abilities and the responsibility that comes with those new abilities. We are excellent. So to conclude, I'm telling you to stay excellent. Each of us has a bold and original vision, and we've shown we're more than capable of turning our dreams into the reality we want to see. We have a duty to share our talent. When we all go off to different colleges, often in different countries even, we don't have to forget the time we had here, but we do have to carry on what we've learned and done here to new places and new opportunities. Let's show the world what we can do. Thank you all.